What's going on, everybody? It's Q from Retro Q Gaming, and I am here today with a special guest, Masahiro Sakurai, and we are here today to inform you and school you people, bring you up, hit you with some knowledge, because that's what we do, and we are going to see what's up, because just the other day, there was a Nintendo Direct. This Nintendo Direct was specifically only focused on Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is completely understandable. The game is out next month. It's Nintendo's only real big game this year. Or, well, I suppose technically you've got Pokemon, Let's Go, Eevee, and Pikachu, but those aren't real Pokemon games, so no one actually cares. But anyway, back to Smash Brothers. Now, during the whole Smash Brothers Direct presentation was about 40 minutes long or so, a bunch of reveals and all new characters, DLC, etc. Didn't watch it myself, don't actually care about it. But what was alerted to me by my boy Sakurai was he came to me afterwards and said, Q, I put out some very important information in this that I don't think these mindless drones will understand. The logical people and the actual fans and people who understand technology, which really aren't Nintendo fanboys, but they will understand. But Q, I need you to reach out and tell everyone, inform everyone, hit them with your knowledge, lay the empirical IQ smackdown on these people when it comes to technology. And I was like, okay, you know, Sakurai, what is it? What's the deal here? What do you need me to inform these people on? What do I need to do to enlighten these jabronis? How am I going to do this? What do I need to talk about? And he looked me dead in the eye and he just said one word or one short version of a word, I suppose. And he just looked and said to me, Wi-Fi. And I just said, Sakurai, say no more. I know where this is going. I know what I got to do. So, here we are a few days later, and I'm finally getting around to making this video, because, well, reasons and time have taken over. But anyway, during said Nintendo Direct, Sakurai pleaded with people. Pleaded is the only word I feel can accurately describe what happened. He pleaded with the Nintendo fanbase to please use wired network connections if you're going to play Smash Brothers online. Now, this isn't the first time he's done this. He's done the exact same thing back on the Wii U, simply because, remember, Smash actually did launch on the Wii U, many people forget this, it was the same one that released on the 3DS, but unlike the 3DS, people actually didn't buy the Wii U, he says as he has a Wii U, a GameCube adapter, and, well, Smash on the Wii U. That's not the point. I'm me. But you might remember that, conspicuously absent from basically every Nintendo console with the exception of buying external adapters, there have been no network Ethernet ports on any of the Nintendo platforms. Very strange, very weird. Sure, some of them that have Wi-Fi built in, like the Wii, the Wii U, the Switch. But you could always buy these external little adapters. I personally have one. I used to use it on my Wii, which also moved on and worked on my Wii U, and now actually works on my Switch. It's a small 10 or 11 euro little USB 3.0 gigabit adapter that I got towards the end of the Wii's life, worked on the Wii U, and now works on the Switch. And Sakurai asks me to use this as a demonstration to everyone about how important this is. So like I said, Sakurai wants everyone to use a wired connection when possible when playing Smash Bros. Ultimate Online, just like he did on the Wii U when the one on there was, was coming out. I don't remember if he did the same one with Brawl on the Wii. It's been a while. But the meme was far more prevalent on the Wii U, and now, of course, again, on the Switch. And there's a reason for this. Well, Smash Bros. is a fast-paced party game, not a fighting game. Fast-paced party game. And it requires stuff like quick inputs, reflexes and reactions. A lot of frame-by-frame -frame stuff going on. Now, of course, none of this is perfect, given the fact that it's going over the internet. It would be fine if you're all playing it locally, but we can't really all do that, unfortunately. And of course, because Nintendo's paid online service does not give dedicated servers and every single match is a peer-to-peer -peer connection on someone else or your own Switch, that incurs even more delay. And then you put Wi-Fi on top of that, which is inferior to wired connections in every single way, you're just going to have a bad time. So he was pleading to all these people to please use one of these adapters. Nintendo doesn't make their own official adapter anymore. They used to make the official first-party ones back during the Wii, and then they started remaking them again during the Wii U, but now they've licensed them out to Hori. Uh, there's probably a bunch of other third-party ones out there as well, but the officially licensed one right now for the Switch is from Hori. Again, there's a bunch of other third-party ones that work just as well and are cheaper. 
Or did you spend your only free 20 euro on the Nintendo Online subscription service? Mine is some brand I've never even heard of, cost me about 10 or 12 euro like I said earlier in the video, and is USB 3.0 and gigabit, it's fantastic. So keeping all that in mind, from a complete sheer technological standpoint, it's not even subjective, it's not even my opinion, it is sheer 100% fact that wired connections, hardwired ethernet based LAN connections are better in every single way than any form of Wi-Fi, especially when you consider the Wi-Fi unit in the Switch is actually pretty bad. Although I will say, in fairness, other consoles ones are almost as bad as well. The Wii U one was pretty terrible, the PS4 one is shite, the Xbox One version is actually okay, but that's beside the point. So if you were to use the Wi-Fi connection, on your Switch, online, using the paid peer-to-peer -peer service to play Smash Brothers, you are in for a shit show. But that's where the fanboys come in, and of course, as you do, you see on every single site, you see on every single comment section, every single forum, how the fanboys will insist Wi-Fi is just as good. Wi-Fi is the same as a wired connection, or it's just as good as they like to say. First off, that is empirically wrong, absolutely 100% factually incorrect to say that it's just as good or it's the same. Just 100% wrong. There's nothing you can say or do about it. It is literal 100% fact. And there are so many people out there, thousands by my count at this point, who are insisting that Sakurai has no idea what he's talking about. They're insisting that they're going to use Wi-Fi. And you know what? It's going to be so fun when the game actually launches and you see all these people connecting online to play this game through peer-to-peer -peer paid networks then going and complaining how oh, the connection is shit there's lag someone's beating me or i'm doing stuff my moves aren't coming out roll back net code or all this shenanigan or bullshit these people are fucking idiots so just in case you didn't know yes sakurai is correct Please use a wired network adapter. You don't even have to buy the official first party, third party license, whatever you want to call it, horror you want. You can buy almost any cheap one. Just make sure it's Switch compatible. And remember, there is a third USB port on the Switch dock. Granted, Nintendo should have put a fucking network adapter on there anyway. It's ridiculously cheap to do so. And the Switch dock is massively, excessively overpriced, as is Nintendo's modus operandi. But just open up the back of the dock, plug in the little network adapter, let it hang out the big gap that comes out there, plug the ethernet cable in, and you're in for a proper better time. Now there's people out there who are going to be instantly saying, Oh, but wait a minute, Q, I play in handheld mode. Or what if I'm sitting and playing in handheld on the TV or if I'm on the go? Fuck off, right? You people are the worst kind of Nintendo fanboy. The first kind of Switch fanboy. You people don't even deserve internet at this point. You don't deserve games at this point. That's all I can say. People are irrelevant. You people are the problem with the industry. Get it, get them out of here. Your plight means nothing because you mean nothing. It's that simple. Anyway, I just wanted to take this opportunity due to, you know, my boy Sakurai actually asking me to do this. And well, I am the benevolent one because it's what I do. And I felt like it educates some people and obviously some ignorant fanboys out there who have no idea what they're talking about. But well, we'll see how it goes. Can't wait to hear how some of them will completely ignore facts and say all this kind of bullshit in the comment section because, well, that's what Nintendo fanboys actually do. That and pay for peer-to-peer -peer online games. But anyway, let me know in the comment section below do you have a USB network adapter? Have you had one from the Wii, the Wii U, and now working on the Switch? Are you going to get one? Are you, did you only get one for the Switch? Are you just getting it for Smash? Or what's the deal? Do you think Wi-Fi is just as good? In which case, get the fuck off my video. Or what's the deal? Let me know all that good stuff in the comment section below. Hit the appropriate button to let me know how I did on the video. And while you're at it, head on over, hit that subscribe button, and even ring the little notification bell. Granted, trying to get a notification from YouTube in current year about a new video upload or live stream is a whole other story but hey at least you can say you tried am i right as always thank you so much for watching i will see you in the rest of the videos in my channel